everybody! My name is Matheson. Welcome to another episode of Matheson's Fan Mail Openings. I actually went by my P.O. Box today, and I have some stuff. So, as always, I want to open it up on camera. And by as always, I mean for the second time, because it's only the second time I've done it. That being said, we're going to get right to it. We've got two boxes and a letter. Uh, if you want to send anything, fan art, whatever it is, uh, at the in the description of every single one of my videos at the bottom is my P.O. Box. You can check it out there, and you can just ship it off there. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Now, this is a super personal letter. I will not read it out loud. Uh, but for now, Sydney Bork from Minnesota sent me something. There's the envelope right there covering her address or him, if, in case it's a him. And again, I don't want to, if it's super personal, I will uh, read it and uh, uh, I'll read it off camera. Or I'll read it and then edit it out or whatever. Um, just for the sake of privacy. So um, that's, just, that's just so you know. So looks like I got a couple of things here, which is awesome. Oh, shit! Somebody posted this online, actually. And, uh, I remember this. Uh, uh, we'll show that off here in a second. Uh, I just want to make sure... Mm. Cool, so it says, and this is not, not anything super personal. Dear Mathis, thank you so much for being an awesome YouTuber! I started watching your Zomboid Let's Plays a few years ago and became, uh, I think... I apologize if I can't read your handwriting. I became hooked. I thought it said roomed for a minute. It's hooked. Uh, and became hooked. Uh, by watching your videos, I've gained such an appreciation for indie developers and video games in general. Keep going and doing what you love. Sincerely, Sydney. P.S. Hope you like fan art. I do, Sydney. I love fan art. Um, this was something that actually was shown to me a long time ago. I think Sydney posted it online a while ago. Uh, and uh, now they sent me the actual thing. And this is awesome. It's me. Running from zombies with an axe and a backpack, so it looks awesome. I love it. This will be going up. I don't know where. I if I start getting a lot of fan like fan art like this, I definitely want to start hanging it up. That's awesome. Um, it means a lot to me. You have no idea. It means a whole lot to me. But that looks badass. I love it. Thank you so much, Sydney. I massively, massively appreciate it. Uh, you have no idea. This stuff makes my day. This fan mail and all that stuff. It it honestly it makes my day like crazy. So this next one is a little bit beat up. It says sweets on it, and I think that means it's candy, so that means I'm going to have to try something, which terrifies the shit out of me. Ugh. Luckily, I brought my keys today so I can pop this sucker open, and I won't have to worry about it. Last time I had to try candy on camera, if you don't remember, um, I gagged a couple times because of what you ended up having to give me. You gave me, like, salty, like, licorice stuff. And, uh, oh man, was it an experience and a half. Oh man, there's a lot in here. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Holy crap, man. I'm never gonna finish this ever. Um, holy shit. This is amazing. Look at all that fucking candy. Um, my teeth are gonna rot out. So some of this stuff I know because we sell it here in, uh, the U.S. Some of it I tried outside of the US when I was traveling abroad. Some of it, I've never seen. So maybe we'll try some of that stuff. Now, people are gonna kill me, but one of the candy bars I was told a million times to try was Lion Bars. And uh, I, people were like, it's like the best fucking candy bar in the world. You're gonna love it. You're gonna you love it a lot. And I've tried it twice. I tried it in Iceland and I tried it in England. Twice I tried it. And Lion Bars taste like fucking glue to me. I don't know why, but every time I bite it, it tastes like glue. Uh, it doesn't make me gag or anything, so it wouldn't be hilarious to watch me eat. But Lion Bars, people who love it, uh, and I, I, I mean, you know, I'm not to tell you you're wrong, but you're wrong. The, the candy just tastes like glue. Also, I'm gonna try, I think I'll try some Swizzles Rainbow Drops. There's some gummies in here. Just some, like, milk chocolate. There's flumps, fluffy marshmallow twi flumps. Look, I ain't gonna judge you for naming your candy flumps. Double decker. There's some cool stuff in here. Like this stuff looks delicious. Unlike, not not for anything, but the other candy I got. And I ate that other candy. Most of the good stuff, anyway. There's some Snickers and Kit Kats. All that stuff we have here in America. Um, ooh, orange chocolate. That'll be a treat later. All right. I'll try two right now because there's so much candy in here. There's no way in hell. I'm going to put the box down. I'm going to try flumps and rainbow drops. But first, 
I'm going to try the rainbow drops. So the rainbow drops are sugar-coated puffed maize and rice. All right. Sounds good to me. I mean, I, I don't mind rice and or corn. All right. That's what it looks like. Ah, don't want to fall. Better, better shot, maybe. There you go. All right. Uh-uh. Ugh. I don't like it. Uh. Ugh. <coughs> don't gag. Don't gag. Ugh. 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 I t <coughs> that, all right. I'm trying to figure out in my mind what it tastes like. And it tastes like hard. All right. I'm going to go back for more. I got to make sure. It tastes like, uh-oh. Hard? Like... Ugh. Like hard cough syrup? Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> oh, hard cough syrup. It tastes like I'm chewing cough syrup. Oh. Mm. There's the corn flavor right at the end. Perfect timing. Next up, we're going to try Flumps. Flumps is a fluffy marshmallow twist. So, I mean, that sounds like it's going to be good. We'll see. Says fat free. Lord knows I need that. So here we go. That's the wrapper. Flumps. Flump flump flumps. And it looks like marshmallow. You know? There you go. Alright. Yep. Yep. That's marshmallow. No surprise there. Hmm. That, that helps the wash the taste away of rainbow drizzles. Little drizzles in my chisels. All right. Last one. It's a heavy one from Roberts. I don't know if that's his last name or his first name, but that's all it says. And he lives in Illinois. I don't want to show the front. Well, there you go. Roberts. It's heavy. And it sounds, I don't know what it is. Sounds like magic cards to me. But everything lately sounds like magic cards. Eh! 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 Alright, good. If you just make noises, the tape comes out way easier. Eh! Okay. There is... <laughs> That's awesome! Oh, he does, I think this is the guy who was telling me before. Isn't that? It's mad. It's freaking magic cards. That's hilarious. You're feeding my habit, man. You shouldn't be feeding my habit. Oh, what the? Oh, that's awesome. This is cool. So he's, it looks like he just sent me a bunch of his old magic cards. A pink protector with, uh, oh, just pink sleeves. That's awesome. So God knows I'll have a pink, I'll have a pink sleeve deck eventually. We've got, mm, we got a letter down here. All right, all right, let's pop this sucker open. It says Mathis on it. So it definitely got to the right place. I'm excited. Ooh, it's typed out. It's typed out. Uh, let's read this out. Uh, let's make sure we can read this out. I'll read it out, and then at the end, if it says don't read this out, I'll edit it out. Hey, Mathis, I tried to fit all that I could in the couple of extra card boxes that I had. If I could, I would have filled up this entire box with magic cards for you to get started with. Magic's a great game. Yes, it is. And I've made a lot of friends over the years from playing it. I started out with a deck builder's toolkit like you did, but I didn't have enough money to buy any fat packs along with it, so my collection was fairly limited when it actually came to deck building. My friend that got me into playing Magic had a bunch of older cards he never used that he gave me, which helped me build my first deck. From here, from there, I fall into a crippling addiction. I'm with you, my, my friend. I'm right here. I'm with you. I'm with, I'm with you. Uh, too much capital putting in that into Magic, but that's okay because I've got just enough money left for my next pack fix. Yes, sir. I, I, I'm living that life. The commander box is a bunch of blue and black cards in it because I saw that you wanted to build a control deck in those colors. I put a bunch of removal spells, counter spells, and card draw things in there for you to fill up the extra space around your uh, Tassiger and other beefy dudes. I also put some rare red lands in there to possibly pique your interest in a different style red deck because besides the aggro beatdown plan. Yeah, I understand that. The other box is just random stuff from every color in case you decide... Not to play with a, uh, a UB deck, which I don't know what that means. Um, Universal blue, black, I don't know. I also found an older playmat of mine that I don't use and some sleeves for you as well. Hope you like them. 
Hopefully this box of cardboard crack will entice you to make a magic segment in your lineup in the future. And even if not, I hope that it will bring you as much fun as they've given me over the years. Cheers from Alex Roberts. Alex, you're going to get your wish as far as magic stuff on the channel. Don't worry. We've got some cool stuff that will be hitting over the next week or two. Uh, I'm pumped to, to bring that to you. And I'm pumped that you hooked me up with such cool stuff. This right here, actually, this box, this box I'm excited about because uh, I need it badly. I need something to hold hold over my, my uh, cards. So this is awesome. Um, I have no idea, like, what you sent me. I'll go through all of this stuff over time. I appreciate it greatly. That's just super, super cool. And then in the Commander one is the one you sent. You sent me some, like, um, some blue-black stuff. Another pack. That's so awesome, man. That is so cool. You have no idea. There's another pack of cards. And then in here, in his commander box, is whoa, 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 whoa. Um, the the all kinds of good stuff. Actually, the fact that the, the very top card is Thieving Magpie, which uh, I talked about in one of my unboxings kind of recently. That is awesome, man. Appreciate it greatly. You're feeding my crippling magic addiction. You know, for that, you know, I, I, I thank you for it. Let's, uh... Keep these nice and boxed up for now. And I'll show you guys the mat that he sent me too. An old play mat. Let's take a look. I'm psyched. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, flip it over so you guys can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Pretty cool. It's like some like siren lady, I think. Some merfolk probably. That's badass. Thank you so much, Alex Roberts, if you can hear me. I'm talking through the mat there. Thank you so much, Alex Roberts. And thank you, everybody, who sent me something. The fan art is awesome. Food is always fucking great. Even if I hate it, it's hilarious, and I love it. And Magic Cards, obviously, a little bit of an addiction for me. Thank you very, very much, guys. You have no idea. Fan, This fan mail thing is something that, you know, I when I get something in the mail, I get giddy like a schoolgirl, like it's Christmas. Thank you so much, and it means the world to me. Um, if you guys want to send anything, the, the P.O. box and the link below, uh, I'll pop it open on, on camera unless you specifically say you don't want me to. Then, of course, I'll keep it private. But thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the things that I got. And let me know if you guys have a crippling magic addiction like I do. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>